This is why I don't do vlogs. Let me tell you about it. So I'm currently on a cruise. This is our third day in Vietnam. And that horn is honking. And basically, goodness, this is as good as it gets. What I mean is, if I were to do vlogs, this would be it. And that's precisely why I'm trying to do it now. And let me tell you, I wanted to do this yesterday, but I just couldn't because I had all the excuses in my head. And perhaps one thing I need to share or something I want to share about my content creation is that I don't feel as if I can make it as personal as I usually do. I tell my stories, I tell uh, my inspiration behind photos, behind things that I do, but ultimately I don't really show my everyday life as a photographer or as anything else because well to be honest I don't think it's interesting enough and that's why I have such high respect for people who do vlogs especially people who do vlogs every day no matter what they're doing no matter what they come across they can do it and I just simply can't and that's basically it I just don't think my life is interesting enough on a daily basis okay perhaps today yes it is because i'm having the time of my life enjoying this cruise in halong bay but for most other days i don't have that and to be honest i would come across people who would approach me and tell me that hey i enjoyed your last vlog pertaining to my last video which is commonly either a tutorial or a review or something that's definitely not a vlog because again I don't do this and I would get annoyed to be honest I get annoyed not because of them but because it hits a certain insecurity inside of me that I don't do this and I can't do this if I could do what they do then I would be putting out three or four times more content than, than I usually do than what I usually can but no and I mean Yes, I do get to travel a little more than most people, but at the end of the day, I feel like my life is boring, you know? Anyway, today I am on the deck of the cruise ship, and to be honest, we got so lucky because when we got here, when we got to Vietnam, we had absolutely no plans, and we basically just planned our trip on the first day and that's when we decided to come to Halong Bay, like the day prior. And let me cut this real quick because there's something I want to shoot. And so when we got to the hotel, we talked to the guy who was suggesting all the tours. And of course, we had Halong Bay in our heads the entire time we were going on this trip. But we just didn't know when to do it. For context, my wife is here for a convention and I'm just tagging along. So basically, we need to prioritize that convention. And we realized that day that we would have to do it the next day so we could actually make the most of our time here in Vietnam. And then I think that's the reason why we got, if I'm not mistaken, this is called the presidential suite because we are at the very front of the ship and our balcony is basically the front of the deck and even better is because the room next to us is unoccupied so we technically have the entire front of the boat to ourselves and this is where i've been shooting the entire time so anyway i'm shooting right now i have the sony a7r5 with my new 70 to 200 g master version 2. this lens it was the first time I actually mounted this lens on my camera when I got here and I think that's a good thing but even before I actually got to use this lens, this lens has given me viral content. If you missed that, um, go on over to my Instagram at Nico Valenzuela, N-I-C-C-O Valenzuela 
and you can find just one video there that has at this time around 400,000 views and thousands of comments and it's basically just a post um, video of me unboxing that video using a very funny audio and yeah so even before I actually mounted this lens I was able to get some benefit out of it in terms of my social media reach and again I'm gonna shoot something now this is precisely what's amazing about this Halong Bay cruise you get on a boat and they feed you so much food and you stay on the boat for over for 24 hours roughly and then as a photographer you just whip out your camera and you start shooting and I mean you can see in the background what I'm what is behind me and that's the reason why I would periodically stop and try to shoot some photos because we're constantly moving I was this close yesterday to asking the captain to, to of course I wouldn't but if I could I would ask the captain to stop for a bit while we were having lunch because I was seeing so many nice compositions that I wanted to get my camera and not miss a thing and the entire time except for when we were about to sleep we were just cruising along the bay and it was an amazing experience Yesterday we had gloomy weather and today we have significantly sunny weather with barely any clouds and it's so worth it. Now this isn't much, it, it doesn't cost so much. It probably cost me everything I've earned on YouTube at this point after two years of monetization. And that doesn't mean it's expensive, it just means that I haven't earned so much on YouTube. But basically it's $200 per person to, to be here, to get aboard and to have the room, all the food. It also includes one uh, kayak or boat trip to this cave complex and also a tour to a pearl farm and an oyster farm and yeah um, we had a seven course uh, meal dinner last night and goodness this is why I don't vlog I, I'm even having a hard time remembering what I wanted to say but yeah uh, $200 for everything uh, which isn't so bad to be honest it's like just finding a nice hotel in the city anyway so definitely worth it if I could I would stay longer here because I would also want to see how diverse the weather is right now but yeah so I'm shooting again with the a7r5 70 to 200 gm2 with um, I do have an ND8 right here, but I'm using it only as a CPL. Since it's bright enough, I don't really need the ND per se, but it does have an effect. But I'm more after the effect of the CPL for the blue skies and also for the reflections in the water. Definitely no long exposure here because obviously we are on a moving ship and that's totally fine because I can definitely make my way around that so yeah this is why I don't vlog simply because number one I can't sustain it I can't sustain vlogging for the life of me because I don't want to be the guy who has his camera out every single moment of the trip and I have nothing against that it's just that I want to take in as much of the experience myself and remember as much of the experience myself and so that when I do take out my camera obviously to take photos it would leave more memory into it and I just feel like I'm going to be able to cherish that particular trip or that particular experience even better than if I was talking to the camera the entire time of course, this is downtime for us right now. We're actually making making our way back to the harbor so that we could um, go back to Hanoi 
and enjoy the rest of our stay in the city. But basically, I could only do this vlog because we have downtime. Wait just a minute. And this is another reason. Simply because I don't want to be distracted from shooting photos. Because primarily, even though I create content about photography, primarily I am a photographer first. I started photography almost 15 years ago. And that's one of the things in my life that I don't think I will ever stop being. I am going to be a photographer no matter what. Even if I get, I don't know, a lot of success in content creation, it will always go back to photography. And as a content creator, of course, I, I love that. I, I, that sounded really good in my head. And I loved saying that. And photography will always be the priority. And again, that's another reason why I don't vlog. It's because I want to be able to focus on taking photos. And as you can see right now, I am interrupting my monologue right here. Simply because I want to still prioritize taking photos. And I would be totally happy if I had a vlog at the end of the trip. And I could share the stories like, like I'm doing right now. And hopefully this actually makes it into post-production. I would totally be happy if I came home with that story. But I would even be happier... If I came home with photos that would really help me remember about this trip. I would totally be happy if I had some reflections that I could share later on with another video on my desk or another another article on f-stoppers. I'd be even happier if the photos still meant more. I would even be happier if the photos still had more into them than the videos or the vlogs or the content and again that's because primarily more than anything I am a photographer. Worst case scenario, I have a vlog, I have a video about it, a story about it, but no photos to share. So putting this camera first. Before that, that's another reason why I don't vlog. <laughs> putting this camera first. And there we have yet again another reason why I don't vlog. Someone was right there. They were looking at me and I just could not continue speaking. But over all of that, over all the logistics, over all the interferences, over all the challenges, it's still because I would rather enjoy the moment, enjoy the trip, enjoy the experience. And then continue doing what I love most which is taking photos and then share with you the process and share with you the photos the output and the thought process behind it more than just showing you the experience itself because I'm pretty sure there are already thousands of videos online that would tell you how nice it is out here in Halong Bay how nice it is out here in Vietnam um, how nice it is here on the cruise. One thing that I can say that I can give you uniquely would be my photography and why I do my photography and how I do my photography. And if you could pick up a thing or two about that and apply it in your own photography, then that makes it more worth it for me. There we go. My name is Nico Valenzuela. I am a photographer who's also a content creator. And if you're into any of that, then hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. In any case, thank you for watching this one-of-a-kind vlog.